All right. I'm called Mujahid Jihad Hatim Abdul Bari. I am a Muslim African American, and the knowledge that the faith structure gives me is my direct connection with all creation and an alignment with my special purpose in this point in time. Well, <clears throat> the honor is from those Muslims globally who are striving to live up to the highest human standards that we are aware of. The problem is that there are a large number of people who call themselves Muslims who are not students of the revelation, nor are they students of the life of Prophet Muhammad. They are basing their frame of reference for how to be Muslim based on what some clergy or school of thought offers them and not their own personal, careful study, reflection, and analysis of the life of the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad of 1480 some years ago, prayers and peace be upon him, who was and remains the best example. It's important to know that all of the prophets of God that anybody recognizes as prophets of God were prophets of God. The key is that Prophet Muhammad as the last of them he described himself this way. He said, all of the prophets of God before me were building a house. I am the last brick in that house for the completion. Now the problem that exists today among people of different sects and different religions is they're missing that continuity. Men and women share the same souls, we all have the same created nature. The differences are brought to bear by political and economic ambitions of people who get into positions of leadership. But if you go to the actual revelations, you will find that a lot of what people are doing, like the killings that's going on now between different sects, is totally out of line with the instructions that the prophets gave. The earthly world that we live in is a place for worship. The planet was created for human beings to reach our full potential. And human beings with the minds and hearts and souls we are created with are here to beautify the planet. One of the references that's given to summarize that concept is that the whole planet is the masjid or the mosque of the creator. Mm -hmm. That means the whole thing. And so it's our responsibility to keep it clean, keep it up, and keep it in the order that we found it. Mm -hmm. The problem that we face today is that there are a lot of people, human beings, who have left consideration for the creator, the creator and his instructions, and are just doing what they want to do for greedy purposes to the destruction of a lot of other people and a lot of other life. So in your navigation through that world, in, in this world, right? how do you... Well, you see, <clears throat> the best way to understand the framework is in the story of Prophet Muhammad's ascension when he went to visit with the Creator. And in the instructions he was given, the Creator instructed Prophet Muhammad to have his followers, Prophet Muhammad's followers, to make their prayers 50 times a day. Well, when he came out of that interchange, Prophet Moses was right there. And Prophet Moses asked him the question, what did he say? Prophet Muhammad told him what he said. Prophet Moses then said, go back and ask him to lessen it because your followers will never be able to do 50 times a day. So Prophet Muhammad, prayers and peace be upon him, went back and asked God 
following Moses' suggestions to lessen it. So the Creator reduced it by half. Now we're down to 25 times a day. He came out. Moses asked him the same question. He told him. Moses sent him back and said, no, 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 that's too many. Your followers will never be able to do that. Go back and ask him the lesson. So he went back. Now he's down to 12 times a day. He comes back out. Moses is right there. He asked him the same thing. Like Moses like the spook behind the door. Moses asked him the same thing. He told him, Moses, your followers, because he's using his own frame of reference and his own followers. Now Moses has left the earthly world. Because Moses is way back there. Prophet Muhammad is just 1,486 years ago. So Prophet Muhammad tells him. He said, no, 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 go back and ask him to reduce it because your followers will never be able to do it. So Prophet Muhammad goes back. Now, this is the fourth time. <laughs> okay. He goes back and he asks him. He asks the creator again. So the creator tells him, I'll reduce it to five. And for your followers who make their five salats prayers, every 24 hour period it will be as if they had made all 50. Now think about this. What the Creator told him in the beginning was that I expect your followers who have the highest level of spiritual training of anybody on the cumulative experience of all of the best of those before them to make their prayers of obeisance, obeisance obedience and seeking my guidance 50 times a day. Now, if you think about that, what Almighty God is calling your attention to is that in all of your waking time, you are to be conscious of His presence and seeking His guidance. A lot of people say that there's a big clash between the Christians and the Muslims. But if you notice the life of Jesus, Jesus is reported to have said, not my will, but thine be done. That is a Muslim mindset. The word means submitting yourself to do the will of God. Whereas if you have an idea of what you want to do, you first check with how would God have me behave and then do that. Well, if you're doing that all the time and the whole lifestyle is about making peace, okay? then that is the best way to move through the planet in this early, earthly life.